Welcome everyone to the Coach University Graduate School of Business SEMS webinar in December 2016. Uh, my name is Melissa Abache. I work at Coach University in the Global Recruitment Team and I'm joined today by uh, Ms. Steven from the Graduate School of Business and two of our brilliant uh, master students, Anushan and Usan, who are going to tell us about their experience as uh, you know, part of the program during this we want to give you a very brief introduction to the university and where we are located, what we're all about. So, um, as you may know, Turkey is located between Europe and Asia. That's where Koç University is in Istanbul. Istanbul is not the capital of Turkey. Uh, the capital is actually Ankara, but Istanbul is the actual economic center of the country. Our university is located in the north uh, of the city on the European side. Um, just very close to the Black Sea, as you can see on the picture below, and surrounded by a very green forest. The city itself, um, it's a very vibrant metropolis with uh, estimates of between 50 million to 70 million um, inhabitants, depending on who you ask or which sources you check. But overall, it's a place where you can find everything you need as a student or as a professional whether it is work opportunities, entertainment, culture, history, of course, it's a, it's a city that has been inhabited by thousands of years. And you can see the, um, the legacy of all the different uh, civilizations and cultures that have been here. It's also a great point to uh, get to know the rest of the country because you have very easily, uh, you know, you have transport to reach other very famous parts of Turkey, such as Cappadocia, you might have seen it in every brochure about Turkey that you will ever see, um, as well as Ankara, Konya, and other parts of the country. Some of our students um, who are coming from outside Turkey also ask us, uh, what is it in terms of uh, living costs that you could tell us about? Is it an affordable seat? It is when you consider uh, what it would cost to live as a student in similarly sized European um, or even American cities. So we give an estimate of between 300 to 400 dollars per month that could cover all your um, school, transportation, study materials. The highest expenditure in Istanbul is rent, and for that there are several options where you can do room share uh, with other students or also within uh, our campus. There is a very useful website that we uh, tell our students to check before coming to Istanbul called Nubu, and you can compare based on your lifestyle, lifestyle what type of uh, expenses you could expect from living here. Now back to our campus. As I said, it's a very green, uh, very peaceful environment to, uh, to study in, uh, but at the same time, it has all the facilities that you might need. The, bot the bottom picture that you see there is our swimming pool during the summer. Right now, there is a lot of construction going on. We're uh, in the middle of a uh, big academic building uh, construction project, but that is one of the most enjoyable parts of our university. As I said, you can find everything here in terms of conveniences, such as supermarket, uh, you know, cultural events uh, every, you know, every day of the week, almost uh, in our auditoriums. 24-7 library, uh, you know, places to, to just relax as well. Um, and now I'm going to come to the more kind of uh, formal part about the institution. So Coach University is relatively young. It was founded in 1993, and we're now starting to gear up for our 25th anniversary. Uh, so that's very exciting. Right now we have four campuses. As a student, you will spend most of your time in our main campus, which is the one I was pointing at the map earlier on. But we also have some smaller um, campuses throughout the city. For example, a lot of our business students will spend time at our, um, at our center, which is located near the financial center of Istanbul. And it's there because of the convenience to reach different offices as well as public transport. In terms of the size of the university, for Turkey, we're not a very big university. Right now we have uh, approximately 7,000 students, the majority at undergraduate level, and with a growing number of uh, master and PhD students. These students are taught by around 400 faculty members who are coming from some of the best universities and have excellent uh, teaching and research experience, and we will show you some more details ahead. 
um, as a Quich University student, when you graduate, you join a community or a network of over 10,000 alumni who um, are both in Turkey and abroad in different positions in academia, in government, in private sector, um, as well as setting up their own company. Within Turkey, there are different types of universities. Our university is what's called a private, not-for-profit or foundation university. We are supported by the Baby Coach, Coach Foundation, one of the biggest um, philanthropic organizations in Turkey that have also set up um, a lot of investment in terms of culture, education, and health in Turkey and abroad. When we say that the university is comprehensive, it means that we are offering not only the business programs, but also uh, we have a school of medicine, school of social sciences and humanities, uh, sciences and engineering. So every time we're expanding the number of uh, disciplines that we can learn and that we can study at the university. We are research intensive in the sense that a lot of our um, Graduate programs are developing into full-fledged PhD programs with lots of students, lots of projects going on. Um, and you will also see that in terms of the output of, of our faculty members. Um, and they're published in the top ranking journals uh, with the highest number of citations and also the highest number of externally funded projects in Turkey from sources such as the European Commission uh, Horizon 2020. All of our programs are taught in English, that it's both at undergraduate level and at graduate level. So as a master or as a PhD student here, you will be taking all of your classes in English. You will be interacting with faculty members in English. If you do um, your lab or um, you know, projects, you will be expected to be doing this in English. It is an international campus, more so at the international level. And today, actually, uh, the students who are joining us are a good example of that. They're coming both from Turkey and from outside Turkey, um, and from many, many, many different countries. So this is where um, a lot of our students also gain uh, different skills and insights by interacting with students from different countries. Um, we will talk a bit more about some of our research centers. We will give you a very short glimpse of that. Um, but the last box on the screen that you see there, um, that 77% of our um, graduates have a job before graduation, that's a statistic that we're particularly proud of because that percentage keep, in, keeps increasing every year, particularly for our undergraduate students as well as for our master's students. When we look at why was the university set up, the idea was always to be a center of excellence that would provide world-class education to students in Turkey, but not only to Turkish students, but also to international students. Of course, the creation of new knowledge and applying that knowledge for the benefit of society is another driving force at the university. And this is, again, why we invest so much time and effort in uh, research. And also um, giving our students the highest, the highest sense of ethics, social awareness, and responsibility. When people are asked what is the full formula of Coach University to be able that you know, in such a short time to reach a very good position in terms of rankings and recognition and other um, indicators of success, well, the formula could, could be um, summarized as always trying to hire the best faculty um, and giving, giving them all they need to, to be excellent in their research and their teaching, also recruiting the best undergraduate and graduate students, and then um, our colleague Dylan is going to talk about uh, some of the admission requirements for the master programs and also promoting interdisciplinary thinking. As a student here, you will be taught um, within a program by faculty members who are coming from very different backgrounds, whether it is business, academia, uh, you know, or government, and from different disciplines, and they collaborate in terms of the centers that they belong to, the projects that they apply to, and the way that the um, courses are designed and taught. This, this uh, next slide is just to give you a glimpse of some of our faculty members, where they're coming from, starting from a president who was a professor at Stanford University for over 30 years. And this is all across all the different schools, so both in engineering, social sciences, business, you can find people who um, obtain their PhDs at the top institutions in the US and Europe, and then um, you know, supervise PhD students, do research, and then join the university to, to continue that. 
These are some of our uh, research strengths, but I'm going to pass very briefly over that. In terms of the graduate degrees that we offer today, we're talking specifically about the STEMS MIM, the Masters in International Management, and some of the other degrees, Stephen is going to tell you a little bit more about. But overall, these are the degrees that are on offer as Masters and PhD programs in our graduate school of business. So we also have an MBA program and uh, Masters uh, in Finance, a PhD in Business Administration, and there are Executive MBA and Executive Education programs. Just very briefly to show you the, the degrees that we offer in social sciences, humanities, and health sciences as well. As I said, we're very proud of our alumni and where they go to after Coach University. When we look at some of our previous uh, master students and doctoral students, these are the universities that they have gone to either complete a PhD or have taken a postdoctoral position or are now um, doing research, research assistantships uh, or even as assistant professors. In science and engineering, it's a similar situation. Some of the top universities in Europe and the US. And we will talk again more about this specifically about the, the MIM program, but um, our graduate school of business alumni are particularly uh, successful in terms of finding positions at multinational companies, uh, both in Turkey and abroad. So here you see a mix of names from very well-known companies in Turkey, as well as worldwide known um, brands. That's going to be all for me. Um, now I'm going to pass the mic to my um, colleague Ian, who's going to tell you more about the Masters in International Management at the Coach University. Hello, thank you for joining us. Uh, during this section, I will be talking about the MIM program structure, including the SEMS MIM and its curriculum and admission requirements. A MIM and coach offers a diversified curriculum that allows students to focus on their own field of interest. An international study for one semester in another member academic institution. A practical learning environment where students are exposed to real life situations. A network of best academic institutions and global companies to work together. And an international internship experience in a company during the program. Learning by doing is encouraged with extensive use of company projects, case analysis, and simulations in the business courses. Students are encouraged to work in teams in all programs. Cases are used frequently to improve problem diagnosis, analysis, and creative problem solving skills. Most cases describe complex, real organizational issues. The total number of cases used in the undergrad and graduate programs is around 120 in one academic year. Now, let's have a closer look in different MIM models at Coach, which are basically the Coach MIM and the SEMS MIM. Both are one year non thesis programs. In addition to those, with the dual degree agreement signed by the University of South Carolina, located in the US, after fulfilling the requirements of the Coach MIM program in the first year, the qualified students will be able to study at the University of South Carolina Masters in International Business program in the second year and get their dual degree. An MIM program accepts candidates without work experience or with less professional experience, which is up to three years. Both SAFS MIM and Coach MIM share the same diversified curricula that enables students to learn more about the management field. These two programs differ only in terms of, in terms of the student mobility and graduation requirements. All SAFS students are required to spend one, spend one of the terms in other SAF school whereas the Coach MIM students can finalize the whole year at Coach University. All some students are required to fulfill the international internship outside of Turkey, and they are required to present a proof of third language acquisition for their graduation from the SAMS program. Coach MIM students are not required to fulfill the third language and the internship abroad conditions. Now let's see the curriculum with all its details. Here you see the whole academic year with its core courses. As I mentioned before, SAMS MIM students have term abroad and internship abroad requirements in addition to credit requirements. It is important to note that all courses at Coach University are delivered in English. As you see here, term one starts with a blog seminar, which is a week long event bringing together participants from different SAM schools. Both Coach MIM and SAMS MIM students are required to take this seminar. Last year, Coach Black Seminar hosted 36 international students from other SAM schools. 
Responsible Global Leadership this is a two-way seminar, two-day seminar, which takes place at the beginning of term two. The seminar brings together representatives from corporate and social partners as well. It is the pioneer structure to enable our students gain awareness and knowledge on social responsibility, sustainability, and business ethics. In cooperation with corporate, education, and nonprofit partners, a MIA program offers a wide array of skill seminars each month. Skill seminars are essential to kickstarting an effective professional career and fundamental adjusting easily to an international management environment. Topics include business communication, personal development, and cultural skills, improved work abilities, and presentation skills. During the business communication skills seminar, students learn how to use a variety of techniques to effectively communicate in a business environment. Business policy and strategy in a global environment and cross-cultural management are the two core courses that are developed and taught by experienced professors internationally known in global strategy and multicultural management areas. As for the electives, within, uh, with internationally renowned faculty in the areas of marketing, retail management, accounting, operations, and supply chain management, Koch University is well, is well positioned positions offer unique learning opportunities to MI students. At Coach, the business projects are designed around an exclusive MI course, which is a core course where a dedicated professor works with the business project teams and selected companies. Students work in multicultural teams on real business cases and projects under the supervision of the assigned company representatives. Business projects are conducted in the second term and students work at selected company facilities once a week. Coach University Graduate School of Business has the objective of acquiring and retaining the best professors and lecturers to teach it its MIM program. The core objective is integrated, the, integrating the academic and practical aspects of the business education. Public partners have a fundamental position and a philosophy. The Graduate School of Business is heavily utilizing its resources on improving its relations with the corporate partners and on aiming to bring their expertise in different business industries to the students. As mentioned in the very beginning of this presentation, Coach University is a member of the SAMS Alliance and conducts the SAMS since 2009 and is still the only university representing SAMS in Turkey. Founded in 1988, today SAMS has 40 academic members across five continents around 17 corporate partners and over 12,000 alumni. Students study at their home university for one semester and then spend another semester at another SAMS member school. Member academic institutions of SAMS are the best business schools in their countries with international academic reputation, outstanding research profile, and proximity to the corporate world. SAMS corporate partners and the Coach University Graduate School of Business corporate network contribute to the program with human resources and input into the curriculum itself. They design skill seminars, give lectures, provide internships, and invite SAMS students to company activities and business projects where students learn about certain corporate practices and solve real-world problems. And SAMS graduation is organized on a rotating basis by member schools. This offers the host school the chance to share with the rest of the SAMS community its local customs and surroundings, all within the uniquely international environment that characterizes the SAMS alliance. And I'm more than happy to announce that the annual event and the graduation in 2018 will be hosted by Coach University in Istanbul. Well, we have come to the end of this section, which was an overview of the MIA program at Coach. Before leaving uh, the floor to our MIA students on Shannon Ozan, I'd like to share our admission requirements with you. In order to be invited to an interview, first of all, you need to fill in all the sections, including the essays of the online application form by going on gradapp.ku.edu.tr. You need to submit the GMAT scores and total IBT scores, along with your official transcripts and two reference letters. The interview will be conducted over business case and evaluation of your individual background. I'd like to remind that the interviews will be in English also. And this slide shows you the tuition and fees of the online program in Turkish Liras. And it goes for the Coach Online program for 9,000 Turkish Liras and Samsung Online program 50,000 Turkish Liras. Well, this is the end of my section, and we will have your questions at the very end of this webinar. Now, our students 
Alushan and Ozan will share their experiences and contribution. Thank you for listening. Us. So, um, hello everyone. My name is Ozan. I'm a Samsung, uh, Samsung MIM student in Koch University and also did my bachelor degree in Koch University for um, business administration. And I can say that I'm here uh, for more than four years. So I would like to share some of my experiences in terms of um, as an Samsung MIM student with all our academic uh, course loads and courses offers and also some social events uh, happening in Koch University. And also uh, I'm a, a Sam's Club Istanbul member, so I, I will share those experiences with you. Um, Koch University really offers a great extended experience in terms of academics and a well-structured um, course organization that's Clearly, clearly forces you to face some challenges and makes you to work more on uh, productive projects in an international environment. So during my uh, first semester, um, I just had chance to uh, work in collaboration with uh, different people from different uh, nationalities for my um, projects. And this clearly helped me to come up with new skills in terms of communication and some other collaborations with people uh, from different branches uh, in terms of entrepreneurship, uh, computer engineering, uh, social sciences, and et cetera. And this, also, this all, always helped me to bring up with new skills as I'm a business administration student. Also, uh, I'd like to talk some about the workload that courses really requires. Um, even if the content of some courses looks quite similar to my bachelor degree, uh, most of our instructors are uh, have many international experiences in different industries from finance to investments and to marketing. And this really uh, brings you new challenges uh, that you have to spend some time on studying and making teamwork project. And that's all for academics. Now I'd like to talk some about our social lens and how to how's it going in Istanbul and Koch University as a Sams MIM student in social aspect. Um, we have a great Sams MIM spirit here in Istanbul. We are um, more than 30 people and we all share some social lens uh, rather in this Istanbul or uh, by weekly events or um, some corporate experiences offered by our uh, Sam's Club uh, Istanbul. Um, so, as we already discussed, we have the university also offers uh, a lot of facilities in terms of social uh, events. We have some uh, restaurants around dormitories and really close to campus area and some students' bars that you can have some good time with your friends. And we are really sharing a great moment with all our senses and we have a nice spirit. Um, that's all for me. Uh, if you have any questions later that, I'll be able to answer them. Thank you. Yes, uh, my name is Anushan. I'm also a SENS uh, MIM student here. Um, I'm Oji from Schlanka. I grew up in Germany and now I study here as a regular student. So I also want to show like an international view on, on the project here, on the study program here. Um, first of all, I also would mention the, the cohort. It's very diverse, which is not the case for other centers and universities. We have a lot of people coming from different backgrounds like chemistry, biology, like as Austin already mentioned before. So it's very interesting to work with these people. Probably it's also practical that Later in the stage, we will also work with different kind of people. And especially uh, what I liked uh, from the courses is was it was practical oriented. The people had a the professor had a great knowledge about what they are talking about. He um, 
I was talking about the courses and um, professors, and um, I would like to continue with the seminars we had. Um, we had also like a business communication seminar. It was like a two-day seminar where you learned um, how to present, um, how to avoid some mistakes in, in talking, um, what is the best strategy to get people on board. So it was very valuable. Next to that, we also had um, some coffee visits. We visited eBay, we visited uh, PNG, we visited um, 3M, for example. So um, a lot of information thanks to the study program we have. Um, and also, if you have a good opportunity to meet new people um, and also network, try to get you uh, informative stuff from um, from the companies. And uh, one should be made was we went <coughs> all together at Sensis um, to Vienna. It was a Sense Career Forum. Um, it was very special for us because all Sensis had uh, joined uh, the event. And it was a great event. You learn new people, learn uh, students from other universities, learn corporate partners. Many some people also had interviews with companies. So it was a big success for all of us. And um, another important factor was the living as an international student. Um, the people from Turkey, you had a very nice experience with these people. They help you in every case. Um, you learn maybe the language, you learn the foods, like to uh, love the food. Um, and the events, um, yeah, where you share your experiences, hang out together, get to, get to know the people much uh, more. So in total, it was a nice experience. It is a nice experience, and I'm looking forward to share my experience. Thank you very much. Um, I think we're going to check now. There are any questions uh, from participants? Uh, some of you might have uh, sent questions before. Okay. All right, so um, we don't have any questions right now, but I have there's one that I would like to ask um, our students. Here. So can you tell us what are you working on right now? Because I heard you were coming from the library on the way here. If you want to share a little bit about the project that you're working on, your plans after graduation, that's something that would be useful. Um, the insight perspective to um, Yeah, right now we are doing a course called uh, Michael Economics of Public Witness. It is, um, of course, which is also like from Harvard uh, Business School. So um, we have a professor called Malika. She is uh, teaching us. And this, um, this course is basically a lot of clusters around the world. So you have a lot of knowledge what's happening around the world, what happened, uh, what happened in the past. And our task is right now to find a cluster, um, to look for information around the cluster. What are the main players? What are the supportive? Um, supporting parties, what does the government, government do to uh, support these classes? So a lot of knowledge um, according to the classes. And um, the good thing, like I think the main uh, uh, outcome of this project is for, to work with people, of course, um, to understand how a small company in a cluster can be a big role player as well. And also what's important in a cluster is like, the collaboration is a must to be successful, and this is also what we get teach. So, and during this learning learning process, also um, the instructor really helps you to figure out new way of making researches, some new tools, some new methodologies that you can use also during your professional life, and uh, it also asks you to sometimes to go and make a field research by working on a cluster. For example, me and my team were working on uh, the Turkish jewelry cluster and a new uh, early uh, built facility uh, close to the airport. So we had to go to the, uh, this um, area that uh, includes many stores and um, some workshops happening and also production, some retailers and suppliers. So we had some 
made uh, quick chats with them to get the information. Now uh, we are working on some data and on our presentation that will be uh, held tomorrow. So this is one of our, for example, projects that we want to work on. There's a lot of work ahead of you. Yes, um, another question we often receive from prospective um, management students is whether they can combine um, study and work at the same time um, and whether they can do that within the program. What do you feel about that based on your experience? Um, we have some, uh, we have one friend, actually a close friend, uh, going in, I mean, both studying in Sense MIM and also making a kind of part-time uh, job, but uh, this program really uh, requires full integration and full fully participation in different as aspects in terms of both the academic requirements. Uh, you have to manage your time well, and you have to uh, collaborate with different people, the inst instructors, and it asks you for uh, a time spent on the project and else. Um, and also in the other aspect, uh, as I already mentioned, we have a great um, spirit going on here, and that's why the more you participate and integrated with the other people, you learn more about the city, uh, from local people, from uh, about different lifestyle, different cultures, from other people uh, like Parmesan, who's my flatmate. So I think we have. A great experience during the start. Um, that's why I think it's better to part participate and fully integrate the into the program. Um, like, uh, like one aspect to mention um, at the sense MI program is of course the workload. Um, it is like it's good like that you have a busy schedule in the week, so it's not like you can say so one two days then you're done. It's mostly like um, distributed for a whole week or less. The only time we have like a bit time is like probably Mondays where you don't have classes. Um, but other than that, I would say it's difficult to manage um, work life and um, academic life, uh, as especially the course are fixed. Um, you cannot change uh, according to to the um, work schedule, I would say. Um, also, like if you have group meetings going on, then uh, it's very hard to manage with people who are working. And also, like one of my friends here at um, at Koch, he's studying and working, and he's using all his uh, vacation days for coming to the university. So it might be difficult, but. I prefer studying more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, and maybe one last um, question for one of the plans for the future. Um, after having done the sense and I am, uh, yeah, what are your expectations? Uh, where do you see yourself? Uh, where do you, would you like to, to work based on the courses you have taken, the professors you have? Um, so I will be uh, moving to. Paris for my second term abroad. And uh, I believe that from the skills that I gained and from the uh, way of looking from the perspective that I gained from this program, uh, it really gives you uh, the some basic skills to challenge, uh, to cope with some challenges in the international environment, working environment. So that's why uh, my priorities uh, to find an internship or a full-time job in uh, Europe, or I'll give a chance also for the States as well. So I mostly like to use all my skills, uh, my foreign language, my um, integration with different cultures and the uh, past experience on the, this field in an um, in, in international business environment. So. I'll just try to figure out, uh, create the best scenario for me in terms of career path and uh, looking for other opportunities about. Um, for me, uh, my next semester will be in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Um, it's going to be probably 
quick time. Um, after my exchange, um, I'm looking forward for for starting my job. Probably like probably in a multinational. Um, I was before working or I did internships in uh, marketing, and I'm but the classes here I was like more passionate about strategy and its effects. So I will look for a job which is, has a lot of do with strategy, maybe consulting or even uh, multinational and from for international. Well, thank you very much. Um, thank you to our colleagues and um, uh, the students and everyone who joined. Might not be <laughs> maybe right now, but um, we will put the uh, webinar recording on our website and we will be sending you the link uh, in a few days. So um, thank you for uh, joining us today. And if you have any other questions, you can also always contact us. Uh, let me just minimize this second. Um, yeah, so you can also contact us to different tools. So here you can see our uh, graduate school of business website and the email where you can um, ask any questions. Uh, the team there is very responsive and, and they receive you know hundreds of emails every day and they're always happy to, to help out with you. There's also our global recruitment team and um, we can answer questions about, for example, the, the coming to Turkey, if you have questions about uh, facilities at the university or uh, any other general questions, we're happy to answer that. If you're a student at one of our partner universities, which university has over 200 uh, partner universities around the world, uh, you can also come here as an exchange student or for one or summer program. So here are the companies. Um, we have some very nice uh, social media channels that you can follow to catch up with what's happening at the university, what our students are doing, our alumni events. Uh, so you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. There's a Sam's Club symbol, and it's a very active account, very, very nice pictures of all the um, you know, activities that are happening around Istanbul from the Sensi. So I would um, recommend that you um, follow the, the account. Um, and you can also watch some of our videos from previous students and events on YouTube. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining today, and we hope to see you soon at another webinar.